Hello and welcome back to XCOM uh, Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken and today we're playing another episode of our Iron Man Impossible Hardcore Run. Uh, heavy, um, heaviest or hardest difficulty, uh, only one save game and uh, if we fail a mission the entire run is over. So we are at day number five and so far it's going great. We already got the first five, uh, six recruits uh, for our police squad and today we're, we need to deal with a bomb threat. Uh, we uh, have frozen the uh, city unrest in the other uh, mm, in the other uh, departments of uh, City 31 and we're now looking to actually deal with that bomb threat plus get an expanded uh, weapon magazine as a mod which is worth around I think 50 or 60 um, uh, supplies. In that case finesse is the better option. Approach the device and disable it just as you were trained. We gained an advanced scope uh, and we're definitely giving that to our damage dealer, so that's perfect. He still continues having trank um, uh, having the trank shots. We have another um, utility item, our med kit, which we're uh, giving to Shelter, mainly because he's the only one with a utility item left over. We yep have used all of the other utility items, and that is that. Um, I think we're good to go. Let's rock. Push through and disable. Good. Let's start with a good old breach mode. We only got one entrance, and this is a perfect opportunity to show you how uh, Cherub uh, really shines when it comes to uh, those types of uh, of entrances. Because we can go in and he essentially uh, will take all of the fire. Stay behind me. Sure do. Let's go. So, we got one enemy over here, a trooper. And I don't think that we're going to kill him with one armor, so instead we're going to use phalanx. Oh, it was the bruiser who was aggressive, but still same comment. I don't think that it would be a good idea uh, to hit him. Got an Arcolite up there, uh, which is my main target. So let's levitate the Arcolite so that he's no longer in cover. There we go. That's some nice damage. Very good. The entrance uh, worked like a charm. Cut the power. I am not sure. I I think we needed to flee through here. It's uh, been a while since I played the mission. Um, good. So we got a thrall right here who's acting next in full cover got a trooper we do have the chance to eliminate the thrall right away which is great let's team up with blue blood i want to deal as much damage from the get-go as possible. Cheer up um, is going to use his uh, kinetic shield by himself. And you know what? Let's take away the cover. That unfortunately did not remove the cover completely, which is lamentable. We're getting rid of the trooper. Yep, that's an unconscious trooper. Great. And it would be cool if we could hit the Thrall as well. Probably not going to happen. He's in full cover 50-50. We got the Bruiser and we got a Hitman. 
The Hitman is pretty nasty. He deals a lot of damage. So let's ignore the Thrall and go for the Hitman next. Yeah, that's annoying, but there's really not so much I can do about it. Going to here will allow me to be healed with a med kit. Let's take out the bruiser. Uh, didn't fully work. It's a bit lamentable because we're now taking even more damage. Wow. Okay, that was really unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. Good. Let's get a better angle. Trading with the Resonant, giving us a full-fledged, um, a full-fledged angle on everyone here. We would need maximum damage in order to get down the Hitman, but I think we can do it uh, because we had a chance to crit. Unfortunately, it didn't work out as expected. Yeah, we need to deal with Resonant uh, next, so let's stabilize. We don't want anything to happen here. Shelter takes the Kinetic Shield. Good, I think we need to deal with the Hitman first. Very nice, that's one down. Next one is the Resonant. Thanks to our advanced scope, Blue Blood is really doing a nice job here. Kinetic Shield is negating any of the damage. Shield charged. All right, so perfect option to interact with the object and change our position with an AOE damage dealer, relocating with cheer up. Cherub is giving another shield to Shelter. And we basically almost knock out both of them thanks to the uh, loaded shield. Perfect. So it worked like a charm. And there's another unconscious one. Okay, so the Gravely Wounded sucks because he will definitely take a wound now. But I feel that was really bad luck. A uh, great option for him also to train and hopefully get these um, these extra two hit points. That would have, that would have um, negated or mitigated uh, Mars taking so much damage. Not the cleanest mission overall but yeah i have more background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack just after the war city 31 reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace the insurgents belong to a cell in the shrike network 
That network provided security before 31PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. Hmm, couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. Good. So, Agent Scars, here's uh, what we've got. He now has a Scard, which unfortunately reduces his Psy offense by 30. That majorly sucks, because that will determine how well he can uh, try to influence the uh, enemies. So we got to get rid of the Scar as soon as possible. Um, probably putting uh, Virch into training for a bit. Good. So Virch has two options. Number one, uh, gain plus five aim and plus ten critical chance for each enemy in the neural network. Supremely good... Uh, mm, um, ability. Second one, enemies in the neural network that would be killed are rendered unconscious instead. I don't need that. Uh, you can achieve it in a, in a different way, but gaining so much aim and so much critical chance is just bongos. Uh, I loved the ability when I saw it the first time and I'm still in love with it. He is definitely very good. So, got our C Psy offense still reduced. Oh, that stinks. Good. We can now um, basically research enhanced armor, um, and we got a couple of items that we can actually buy. So, with with all of that said, I think we're going to go for enhanced pistols. It's a good uh, moment in time to. Yeah. But we would need to give up spec ops now. Nah, we're we're doing one more without um, without someone um, helping us. We just need an additional agent. Unfortunately, I want to get the training done sooner than later. Okay, so we're improving the field teams next, meaning we can upgrade the field teams to level two. That will give us even more rewards when doing the missions. So that's a pretty nice reward. It just will mean in the meantime we gotta lay low because we don't have the weapons or the armor upgraded. Uh, but if you know what you're doing, you can still play with the uh, normal weapons quite um, handily. Good, we got 20 credits, that's not enough. The three things that we can build is, I, I like the extra padding, gives you extra hit points, that was good. Um, this here is an option to squeeze yourself through vent points. Um, uh, sometimes du during breaches you can um, squeeze yourself through vents. And this here essentially uh, gives dodge, which isn't too bad. Um, so I, I liked it, but I haven't 100% figured out how dodge works in this game. I assume it works uh, just like in XCOM 2. Um, but I wasn't yet able to stack to 100 uh, dodge. Um, maybe that's something which we could try. Yeah, I could try it this run. Good, let's take a look. Uh, what we're going to do next. Uh, there is no active mission because we can't yet um, do anything here. So we will probably go with the investigation of a strange device. We could also try to track down thieves. I think we could use some credits, to be honest, um, and just purchase some more equipment. We definitely can reduce civil unrest. Let's just do that over here. With our field team, it will reduce two civil unrest instead of one, which uh, kind of gives you an additional incentive to place field teams everywhere because you can deal with the civil unrest so much better. Um, I don't know, I'm almost tempted to build more uh, field operating teams. So 
given the situation where we're in, where next turn we're going to get more intel, which would actually promote taking more money because we are going to get intel uh, through Axiom, who is currently doing his mission here, the legwork uh, mission, that will give us 60 intel, raising ourselves up to 80 intel. That would be 125. What's the current price? Yeah, we would need 130 for two purchases. So, yep, we're going to go with the credits and let's advance a day. Terminal has completed basic conditioning. That's perfect. Which now means... We can either go for removing the agent's scar, uh, the mental preparation, or we increase his hit points. I would like to do both. So let's start with the mental um, uh, uh, scar. This is basically paying, uh, paying for our past sins. Uh, but the... You know what? Let's go with uh, basic conditioning first. We'll just train everyone with basic conditioning and uh, then we can always remove his scar. That's fine, but the hit points, in my opinion, are more important. So we got a couple of idle, um, uh, of idle operatives and we got ourselves more intel. I would like to continue even more legwork getting that intel. That uh, worked very well so far. Axiom is um, continuing to do that. Even more intel over time. Training is completed. And in the armory, let's take a look at his loadout. He had drank rounds and the breaching charge. I would say we're giving that to someone else since he's in training for now. He can take the breaching charge and when it comes to trank rounds yeah, no one really has room for that at the moment. Might as well let him keep it. Birch can keep the drink rounds. Good. So we're done with that. And this brings us all uh, already to the end of our mission. I know it's a short one today, but we really aced it. So the next, let's talk about which mission we're taking next and then uh, we will end today's episode. So we cannot do the faction yet, um, but we essentially can either. Our presence in City 31 is precarious. The City Council is divided on Reclamation's future. So we do the job we came here to do. Secure dangerous technology from those who seek to harm City 31. As Reclamation confirms intel on these bread and butter missions, we'll place them on the map. They can't argue with our mandate. Protecting the citizens of this city will help them understand our commitment. Cool, that's good. Thank you for the explanation. So, two days towards the assembly project. Um, oh, nice. That is two extra days of, um, of research. I like that. I like it a lot. What's the alternative? Flash bomb? Nah. No, no, no. I think we're better off with the assembly project. Yeah, I truly think that we're better off with the assembly project. So let's put in some intel and purchase finances. Very good. So got another team here. Five overall. Time for four more as we're g uh, gathering intel. And yeah, essential personnel will be our next uh, mission. It will even reduce the unrest here, which is 
Very good. So we will essentially reduce five unrests, prevent three and uh, put minus two on top of it. That's pretty easy, uh, easy decision here. Um, yeah, and we're getting closer to our target. Okay, cool. Good. We have a plan. As always, at the end of uh, the mission, I thank you for sticking with me. Uh, the game is intriguingly fun to play. So uh, let's keep it rolling. I hope you enjoy it as well. And we see each other in the next mission. If you like what you've seen, uh, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you very soon. Bye-bye.